So we've got ourselves one of these LifeX Mini Color Globes. This is the, uh, the colors and the whites. You can do a whole lot of colors, which is quite cool. So we just got it. We're going to do a short little unboxing and then we're going to go and install it and configure it to use it on our home kit with the iPhone. So here it is. So here is the globe on its own. It's actually quite heavy, it's got a bit of weight to it. And this is the Mini, as you can just see right here. The LifeX Mini Smart Light. Right. And it's actually not not an undecent size. It doesn't seem as mini as I thought it would be originally. So there you go. So this is uh, fully compatible with all of your um, home automation, your HomeKit, your Google, and your Amazon. You get a nice little manual and nice packaging, nice wrapping all up. Let's just go and install this into our lamp. And so you can download the application. So you've got to download the app from the store. We're doing this on the iPhone. So we're going to go and open. And then we just go and get the application. All right, so the light has been installed. We're just about to power it on. So there you go. The light is now powered on. And we are now going to pull up our phone and look at configuring it. All right, so we've got our app right here. All right, with the light turned on, we're presented with the initial login screen. You'll see that I'm currently connected to my Wi-Fi. And I click on the plus symbol on my phone and select connect light. From this screen, it depends on how you want to configure your actual light itself. Because we're going to be doing this to a home kit, we're going to do the top option. All right, you've got a basic setup. We'll walk you through the steps. Get started. So the first thing you want to do here is add a light. All right, so welcome. Get started. Now what it's saying is to go into my Wi-Fi in my phone and go and find my light that should be displayed under set up new device. Settings, Wi-Fi, okay. If everything has worked correctly, down the bottom, you'll see set up new device and it will say the name of your new smart light. So I can go ahead and connect to that and gather information about your existing network that your phone is connected to. So it's found my Wi-Fi network and this is the name that I can give my light. We'll leave it as the default for now, but we can go ahead and change that later on if you so choose to. I'm gonna say next. And if all things have worked, it'll say the accessory is now joined to your wireless network. If this has failed or an error has occurred, you'll may need to just follow those steps again. Okay, so now we go back into the app. And if everything has worked correctly, you your light should now show up within your actual application itself. You can now add a few further settings around the location of your light, where it is, where it um, is going to actually be located. So let's just say this is located at home. I'm going to set the location. Where is the room going to be? It's going to be in our bedroom. Set group. And then we give the light a friendly name. So we're just going to call it bedroom light and name the light. That is now going to rename that light to bedroom light. And now you can add another light if you so choose to or use voice services. So in our case, we are going to be using Apple Siri and HomeKit. I can also adjust the color quite easily. And I can also do my brightness levels and the warmness of my light. Turn it off and on. Swipe adjust the colors as you see fit. All right, so I've now got my home kit opened up. What I now want to do is I want to go into the plus symbol up at the top here and I want to say add accessory. 
Now it's gonna ask me to scan my code. Now if you've got the manual, the manual should have a code similar to that, or at least a set of numbers. Essentially all I wanna do is I wanna grab a photo or put my phone in front of that logo. Everything has worked, it should pick it up. You'll see that it's adding, it's found it, and now it's adding that light. Your light may flicker. There you go, that has now added it. Bedroom light, done. So now I can literally turn it off and on. Quite easily, just the brightness. I can edit my colors straight from the app. Which is quite cool, all through HomeKit. The temperature, the warmth of my light also. And so the great thing about your HomeKit is that now it's fully Siri integrated. I've now called this bedroom light. So I can literally just say, hey Siri, turn off the bedroom light. Hey Siri, turn on the bedroom light. Hey Siri, set the bedroom light to red. Hey Siri. Set the bedroom light to blue. Okay. And it's really that easy. Hey Siri, turn the light off. Yeah. And that's how you configure these new light bulbs. Very, very cool. I hope you found this helpful. Love it if you commented and we will see you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.